Yo guys, it's your boy Drew and I'm back with another YouTube video and I know you guys are probably thinking, raw, Drew, where have you been? And the truth is, I've been moving into my new studio for my brand. I can't lie, life's changed. The settings is different now, you feel me? Man's got all the equipment and that, so... But anyways, man, that's enough for me. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to take fit pics. And one thing I learned after leaving school is school does not teach you about real life skills. And one real life skill that everybody needs to have is knowing how to take fit pics. I don't care if you're an actor, a rapper, a professional deodorant tester, you need to be able to know how to take fit pics. Even if you're a corporate bro, those fit pics that you're going to post on LinkedIn might make or break whether you get your next job or not. And yes, I know some of you guys are probably thinking, raw. What does this guy know about taking fit pics? Bro, just hit the subscribe button and you'll find out. Truth is, three years ago, I decided to start posting my outfits on the internet and I accidentally became a fashion influencer. I really don't like that word, but it's the best way to describe it. And I've had to take pictures for brands like Nike, Adidas, Foot Locker. So I feel like at this point, I know one or two things about taking fit pics. And it's only right that I put you guys on as well. So let's get into this video with maximum efficiency. The first thing you're gonna need in order to take good fit pics is a good phone or a good camera. If you've got an Android or Google Pixel, anything like that, just throw it away and get yourself a nice iPhone, bro. Even if you don't have a 15, an 11 will really do the job for you to get your pictures. When I first started making content and I first started taking pictures, I was using an iPhone XR and that got me all the way to 20K followers. So I believe if you have anything better than that, you should be good. If you have no friends or you don't have anybody to take your fit pics, then you should probably make some friends. But if not, then I recommend getting yourself a tripod and a clicker in order to help you take your pictures by yourself. And for those dark winter days, it's always good to get a ring light or some sort of portable light. Because if you don't have good lighting, you're not going to have good fit pics, unfortunately. Now we've got equipment out of the way, you're going to want to set up a grid on your phone or your iPhone to make sure you're getting good pics consistently every single time and this will just help you plan out your shots a lot more when you're taking your fit pics reduce the exposure to negative 0.7 as iphones usually tend to overexpose pictures and have them looking a lot brighter than they should be looking once you've got your grid set up and you've reduced the exposure now it's time for the fun part to take the fit pics before you do that you want to make sure that your tripod or whoever's taking your pictures is taking it roughly from where your waist is because if you take your pictures too high you're going to end up looking short and compressed and if you end up taking them too low the angle is just going to look weird so you want to make sure that they're taking it from roughly where your waist is next in terms of positioning you want to make sure that your feet are above the 0 0.5 1 and 3 buttons on the iphone i also want to ensure that your head is at the top of the middle square and this is to ensure that your feet and your head are not cropped out when you post on Instagram and you still have enough headroom at the top to see the rest of the scenery. Now it's time for you to get flicky and to actually start taking the pics. And in terms of poses, you can pose however you want. But when I'm taking my pictures, I try to pretend the camera is the longest girl in the world and I'm trying to seduce it. You feel me? I just hit it with the eyes like... Once you've taken your fit pics, you might want to edit them. Me personally, I don't touch up or edit my pictures whatsoever. But if you want to change the lighting and other things, then I recommend Lightroom. And if you're trying to go for a specific look or aesthetic, then usually presets you can find online that can give you film effects or even give it some sort of vintage look. If you want to clean up the floors, you want to remove any rubbish, Facetune is good for that. If you're unattractive and you want to look a bit better, Facetune is also good for that. But like I said, I don't edit my pictures, but that's completely up to your jurisdiction. Now you're ready to take your fit pics and post up on the gram looking link. Make sure to like, follow and subscribe if you're trying to see more of these videos. Comment down what other type of videos you want to see or what other tips you have for taking better pictures. Smash the like button a couple more times. Yeah. 